In Cremata Routings. So what I discovered while shooting this video, what I will tell myself if I would start over, that I reacted to my fluent self reacting to my noob self. That, by the way, was a two-hour video that I edited down to 54 minutes. That took a, a, a while. And I realized, hey, that's more explicit of one of the things I wanted to share that are quite the abstract in nature. And it's, I think today I won't do a good job. Uh, but I still want to set the message and incrementally I will gather examples and do this video again, perhaps in, in a year. And is we could say that one part of incremental reading is a conversation with yourself, but not uh, like this, that I'm talking alone and I pretend that I'm listening myself or something like that. No, I'm talking to my future self and then my future self will have the writing. And with the writing, let's go one example. So I just imported two examples, precocity paradox and Dunning-Kruger effect. I processed those articles already. That's why I don't keep my own edits, only the flashcards of what I decided to remember. But basically, long ago, or not long ago, I thought that the school was the right thing. That's why I studied so many master degrees, uh, macro degrees. And I kept studying until I was uh, 29, non stop. Um, now I think it's the opposite. So that is an example of a radical example, but something more concrete like this um, effect that at some point I thought that was true and I actually use it as an example in real life and to learn something, hey, this other concept is related to this effect. Da -da -da -da. So that was part of my belief system and I use it to learn and link new knowledge. And after a while, I don't know, has been but in the last four years, is a, you know what? Now that I don't believe in the school system that you can learn from yourself, this is innate, and the coercion is harmful. Uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Now that I have changed this belief system, this doesn't make much sense now. It doesn't hold, right? So once I, I see some of my topics that I am reformulating, especially the ones that are, are harder for me, because require a lot more, are challenging, because could be not challenging to understand, but are challenging, are creating cognitive dissonance. So I want more information, more, more sources. This takes more time, or I need more thought process. So it needs more iteration for me to uh, write, make the connections, and so on. So when I see a repetition, when I see this next repetition, the next repetition could be some months or even years later. It's, oh wow. Now with this, how I have write, written this, it's like I'm embedding my biases, my belief systems, my thought process. And now as my current self, I could say, hey, this has changed. Across all of the sessions, incremental reading sessions, an iterative process, is, you know what, I don't know when, I could not pinpoint, I'm not even aware when this changed. But now, today, I think this is wrong. I don't no longer share this belief. Uh, this example would be that before I wanted that different collections for Super Memo. Now I want one. Yeah, but that's because I change my workflow. I don't use language learning, so therefore, I hold the same opinion. If today I will do uh, language learning, I will have different collections. So I change my approach, not my belief in this case. I go even further, that I change my belief. That if I do language learning and so on, I will still, no, 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 I will just use one single collection. That's why I believe it's the best, right? That's a different thing. So something I noticed, going back to what triggered me while watching myself, is, oh wow, I was doing the recaps of my difficulties, what I thought it was hard, what I didn't under understand back then as a noob. But then I also had videos from him, my previous self, from my fluent self in 2021. Is oh wow, yes, I did learn and I did correct it and I did correct some of the mistakes that my noob self did. But hey, he was also wrong. 
in the sense that today I do not share some of the um, opinions and beliefs. So what you can do, and my my sincere apology is that I don't, I don't have genuine examples here, that how I take notes, or should I say, I modify the source, so I add I add my notes, and therefore eventually I will create the items. Is how the item is created. Ah, yeah, so I get what I wanted to recall. So the reason of this question is because I want to remember this aspect. Okay, gotcha. But this question is wrong because it's assuming a belief that I no longer share. And that's wonderful because it's an interactive process that since it's so atomic that I can have more or less a conversation, an asynchronous conversation with myself. And perhaps this, let's pretend this was in 2021. This other thing, the precocity paradox, that was in the year 2000 and could specify demand and so on, and not in this aspect. So in this case, it's more of an umbrella, because if you believe that the human cannot learn by himself, then you won't believe in many other things. It's like the, as a consequence, right? So something I also learned with incremental reading is when I have a cognitive dissonance, I embrace it, yes, I have a bit on that, by the way, quite old, but I embrace it a lot sooner, and it's easier. So let's say that I'm more comfortable when I realize something is, oh, how come my previous self was so stupid, so naive at that degree to believe this or to think that, right? And this will happen again. I'm pretty sure eventually I will watch this video and, oh my God, you are still there? It took you two more years to realize this and that. But the point is that you always improve. You gradually great. You gradually get better and learn. You become smarter and so on. The sunk cost fallacy, as an example I, I had myself, that I invested a lot of time. It will be hard for me to move on. Now I'm, I'm, um, I'm quite strict that I move on. It doesn't matter. I will take the best outcome. And if the best outcome is to move on and lose all of the time I invested, that's the best outcome I can get. It's the best option, rationally. After deleting hundreds of thousands of flashcards in Anki, million of repetitions done on those flashcards, and I completely delete them. I think I made a good example of myself that at the end of the day, 10 years later, zero applicability of those cards. So even if I kept them, what was the purpose of those cards, right? So more or less, it is the same thing with uh, knowledge. It becomes a conversation with yourself through text. And at some degree, I could even say in audio or video, because I shoot a lot of videos. And to, my, to your surprise, even if this channel has about 300 videos about Super Memo, those are less of half of the videos I shot. That means that there are hundreds of videos that I can rewatch. Some I already did, by the way. And I see myself, and oh wow, you will be surprised how much many details you will forget. You will be surprised. So yes, is it a conversation in the sense that I speak with me, or it's an AI pretending to be me, emulating my thought process of back in the day? But you get what I mean, it's like the mental, tr mental trouble. Like if my consciousness can be, hey, go back to 2020, when I believed that, I believed that. I didn't know this, I didn't know that, or I haven't had this skill against today. And today, I don't know what will be the future, but I planned, planted the seed, the information required. So based on my writing, I will, my future self will know what I meant. I am embedding implicitly my thought process, my biases, and I will iterate on that. That is awesome. The feeling of self awareness, self motivation, self improvement. Wow. 
So, you know, you cannot measure for learning. So I cannot tell, I cannot share with you, hey, I learned this and, uh, this and that. Yeah, I learned a lot of things that at some degree, they are not connected to each, to each other, those facts. But overall, they change what I want according to my priorities, to the direction I want to follow. What uh, for me is pleasurable. And that has, doesn't have a price. Oh my God. So that's also fascinating. For instance, when I coin some, that's easy to grasp. But the ones hard to grasp is when you're challenging your belief system. I could say I changed. I'm not the same person as before when I created that item or the last time I rephrased that item or the last time I did or the time I did write that sentence. So you have proof that, hey, at this date, I write it that. So I don't know at which point in the field from that day to, to, to today, I changed my mind. But at least, at the very least, that day was still not true. And I had a different opinion. That is huge. It's a big deal. And I started using incremental reading when I used Anki for, I think, 12 years, 12-ish and in 12 years, this hasn't happened in Anki. Yeah, so I'll be extremely, extremely interested, interested if you experience the same, of what degree, if you have some tangible examples that you could share. And I will try to do the same. Once this pops, it's, hey, I'm, I'm realizing this. Let me do a screenshot. Let me copy and text, copy and paste the image to one article. And I will build it incrementally. And this could take a long time, more than a year. But I still wanted to share this because it's a huge, it's a huge deal. So nothing more to add today and see you incrementally.